The books and articles written over the past 70 years about intelligence matters by journalists and popular non-fiction writers are based largely on interviews with confidential sources of varying levels of knowledge and sometimes dubious reliability. Many are now being challenged by intelligence scholars and researchers who have the benefit of access to many of the formerly classified primary source documents that their journalistic peers did not. Brill advisor Matthew Aid elaborates on this in the background information of the primary source collection U.S. Intelligence on Europe, 1945-1995. Matthew Aid, a leading expert on intelligence matters, selected and arranged over 4,000 formerly classified U.S. government documents covering the time period from the end of World War II to the fall of the Iron Curtain and beyond. The collection covers the U.S. intelligence operations in Western and Eastern Europe, the intelligence gathering on Western European communist parties, economic affairs, European anti-nuclear groups in the 1980s, terrorist groups, and analyses of European socio-economic developments. Intelligence scholars and researchers can now access these documents from everywhere in the world using Brill's online primary sources platform. The landing page contains five separate tabs. The contents are ordered by year. The background essays written by Matthew Aid. A glossary of the acronyms used in the documents. Bibliography contains a list of consulted literature. A chronology of the European history from the perspective of intelligence gathering. It is worth reading the background information in which aid provides an overview of the 70 years presence of the US intelligence community in Europe, about their successes and their difficulties. For example, the so-called paper mills cranked out fabricated or misleading information about what was going on behind the Iron Curtain. Where possible, aid refers to the underlying documents in the collection. When gathering material about a specific subject, the best way to explore the collection is by using the advanced search tool. Let's find more about the leaking of information by Senator Brewster to the Franco regime in the early 50s. When clicking on a title, the metadata of the document is displayed. Citations can be easily exported to EndNote and RefWorks. The reader shows a scan of each original document, including all original signatures and stamps. Search queries are highlighted on the page to provide easy navigation. The left side of the screen lists all the pages in the document and provides the option to search within a particular document. In the top right corner of the screen, you can find several options showing you how to use these documents outside the Brill Online Primary Sources environment. The Copy option allows you to select and copy either the complete document or selected parts to a clipboard for further use. All documents are scanned with OCR or Optical Character Recognition. For more information, visit brill.com forward slash USEO. Contact us at sales-nl at brill.com or sales-us at brill.com for customers in the Americas. <laughs>